So, that was quite an amazing video, huh? These are quite magnificent species, and that's why we fight for them to be able to be around here. Buffalo Field Campaign is starting our 24th year in a row of being in the field with these animals all season. In the fall time, here in about a month, um, we start our field patrols mid-November, and that's because the hunt of the buffalo starts where essentially hunters wait at the edge of the border and shoot all that walk across it. And also, they have a capture facility run with all our taxpayer dollars to capture and ship buffalo to slaughterhouses. Now this goes on until through March and finally it kind of slows down and then they start to migrate out and they don't want them out on the national forest because of the states of Montana's zero tolerance policy. to 60 million of these sacred beings that roam continent North America and they took care of the land they took care of the people millions of Native Americans were dependent on these until the conquerors came over and they realized that they could never defeat these mighty people and that they wanted to eliminate the Native Americans and take over all their land they had to remove these sacred beings, the buffalo. And as the onslaught marched west, they killed from what was guesstimated to be 30 to 60 million, these animals down to 23 animals. And they were found just over these mountains over here in a place that's now known as Pelican Valley. And at first, the U.S. Cavalry was sent out to stand guard around these 23 animals so that poachers would never take them away from us. And they stood there and held the ground and kept them alive. And finally, Yellowstone National Park was created. And originally, to give these beautiful species a land, a home, a place to be safe from poachers and killers. And here we are, 130 years later, and these buffaloes still have no rights.